Hey guys, so uh, if you read the title, you can see I am thinking about selling my 2023 Hyundai Elantra. And it is kind of unfortunate, but I have some things I want to talk about and the reasons why, but I just want to say like, it has nothing to do with the car itself. Like there's nothing bad about this car that makes me want to sell it. Uh, it's more of just some other personal and business things that I was thinking about doing. So let me hop in the car to talk to you guys about it. All right, so you guys know that I love this car. There are so many amazing things about it, and I love the way that it feels. I love the way that it handles. I love the uh, transmission. Everything about it is just so nice and so convenient, along with all the tech that it has. Like, look at these big displays. They're amazing. Uh, recently, I've been considering getting a different car. Um, I'm actually going to a dealership today to take a look at one, uh, and I had to undo some of the mods in the car. And the reason for that is I bought this car thinking like the most practical, the most safe, the most like long lasting car that I can buy and also in a price range which was easy for me to like completely just pay off in cash and not really get affected so when I go buying the car this is the car that made that list and it is an amazing car and I'd recommend it to anyone if this is your daily driver if you have a family if you need to carry a lot of things because there is a lot of room but being the fact that I'm 21 I don't have kids and I don't really plan to have them for a while and also the fact that I don't really haul anything large in my car I really only get groceries like once a week um and that's like a very small amount and i also uh only go to school which is like only like a mile or two away from my house and i occasionally go to the post office to drop off orders there so those are things that i'd use my car for and this car is kind of overkill for that i mean it's really nice with the fuel efficiency and the tech and just the overall luxury features that this car has, even though it is a Hyundai Elantra, I will consider a lot of these features it has as luxury. Uh, you know, the parking assist, the smart cruise control, the other handling things that this car has makes it amazing. I kind of want a car that's a little different. And another thing behind this is you guys know, I have been making videos from this car. I have been selling products for this car. And I feel like I've almost done every mod that you could do to this Elantra. And I wanted something like a platform of a vehicle that I would be able to make more videos on and I would be able to share more mods that I can do and have more of a community behind it. You know, you guys are amazing for commenting and enjoying this car. Uh, and when you have your own Elantra, I love hearing all the mods that you do. And I do genuinely love this car. So I'm looking at getting a new car. Uh, I'm thinking there's like three different cars that I'm kind of thinking about getting. Maybe the Elantra N or the Elantra N line, just because they are quite a bit faster. Um, that's one thing with this car it is kind of slow. Um, you know, it's not horrible when you're driving around the city, but it is a little bit slow and I've, I've never really had an issue with that. It's just, uh, when you're doing more mods to it, it makes it look more fast than it is. Uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but um, it can make it difficult when you're driving because some people want to race you and you can't race anyone in this car really. Um, but you know, getting around town, you are usually faster than most people if you just step on the gas a little bit. That's one thing. And the Elantra N and the Elantra N line are quite a bit faster with the turbo charge. Another car I was looking at was something like a Civic because there are a lot more mods for the, the Honda Civic. Uh, the newer ones are maybe a little bit of an older one. And the other car that I am maybe probably gonna get is the gr86 from toyota um it's the brz like the old frs they uh, they have a new, new model that has a larger engine that's going to have more power um it's also a coupe which i think i really like you know these sports sedans are becoming so popular you see them everywhere um or just sedans in general so having something a little bit more unique that's a coupe i think would be really nice and it's like a genuine sports car and i think the elantra n is considered a sports car or a sports sedan so it'll be nice like in my in my 21 having like a sport car would be really cool but i don't know those are the th options that i'm doing but i it, i'm going to be trading in this car and it is going to be very sad to get rid of and i told like my family and my girlfriend like i'm like in in five years when i can afford i'm just going to buy another launcher just for my daily driver just to have on the side just because this is like such a nice car to have and if i had the choice between getting like an audi like even even like a 2016 or 2015 audi or like a 2015 mercedes i would probably still choose this car I think all the tech is even better. Like the self-driving compared to my brother's Audi is just, the mine's better. Uh, when you look at other cars, like it's just, the features in here are really defined. I love the seats. I love the experience that you have in this car, but I'm just kind of looking for something a little bit new right now. Um, you guys know how much I love this car and I'm sure some of you guys will be sad to, to see it be gone, but I have filmed a lot of videos for this car. I, I have some more that'll probably come out in the next couple months, even when I have the new car, just because I have the videos stored and I already filmed them from like a long time 
time ago, but I don't exactly know the timeline on it. You know, I could honestly sell it today, but who knows? Uh, I put like 7,000 miles on this car. I'm going to get it valued. And uh, I mean, the good thing about this car is they do hold their value really well. Like the Elantras, especially in this climate where fuel efficiency is very important. Um, so yeah, I, I think I do want something a little bit more unique and I, I would want something faster and a little bit less practical. Like looking at the 86, uh, looking at like the features it has, it's kind of a downgrade when you look at tech the manual handbrake, the vision system is, I don't really know how Subarus compares to the Hyundais, but the Hyundais is one of the best. Also just the, the overall fit and finish, like this car is really wide, like seeing in the seats, like the passenger seats are really wide over there. So, you know, it's a little bit different, but I, I, I'll let you guys know what I decide. Obviously I'll be making videos if I get a new car or if I keep this car and continue making videos, but it's, it's been a lot of fun to have this car and it's going to be really sad to let it go. But I think it's more of like a personal and business decision. I know when I get the new car, I'll be able to make more videos off of it. Maybe sell my own products or my own line of products for the uh, the new car. And just personally, I think I'll enjoy it more. I enjoy this car so much. I still smile at it. I still, when I park it out in the driveway, I look out the window every night when I'm going to bed to just look at my car one more time before I go to bed because this car looks amazing. And it's in the eye of the beholder. And I absolutely love this car. And I, I just think getting a different one that's possibly even better would be really nice um and i'll still definitely miss this car for years like i know when i'm old i'll be like what's the best car you had it's probably gonna be this car because it's amazing all right guys uh that was my little ted talk i'll catch you guys later peace